The Great Wall of China. It's the largest structure ever built by humans. It spans 13,000 miles and is over 2,000 years old. Even after centuries of earthquakes and erosion, much of the wall survives. Why? Meet Steve Burroughs, a civil engineer from England that has come to investigate. Are there lessons that we can learn from the ancients? You know, what could the ancients teach us? I mean, they didn't have the technology we have today. You know, what could we possibly learn from them? And the answer is a huge amount, actually. It's easy for us sometimes to use technology to create a simple solution for ourselves, but they didn't have that information. So they had to be much more ingenious about what they did. There's always something we can learn from the past. What were some of his observations about how the ancients built the Great Wall? The Great Wall of China's got lots of sort of fantastic examples of ancient engineering. So what you see is, it's the use of stone. How did they get the stone up to the top of a mountain? How did they actually put it together? I can see the idea that they had bricks that fitted in your hand, just like we have today. That they put it together in bonding patterns that made the wall incredibly strong. That means there was somebody who was thinking behind the wall. Over the years, those ancient engineers discovered an incredible bonding agent to hold the bricks in place. What could it be? Sticky rice. Yes, the simple answer was staring up at them from their plate the entire time. They bonded it together with sticky rice mortar. I mean, just imagine that. They had mortar that was able to join the stones together, but they had this secret ingredient that somehow they'd learned over time. It gave the mortar longevity, it made it last, it made it stronger. So we started to see the idea of ancient engineering applied, and the fact that it's lasted so long is testament to the brilliance of the engineers of the time. The only way to properly survey the Great Wall and have an accurate model is to use LiDAR. Uh, we're bringing in LiDAR, I mean that is lasers. We're going to fire laser beams at the Great Wall of China. LiDAR as an example really of new technology, what it does is it allows us to survey things that otherwise would have been difficult to access. So after surveying the Great Wall, what does the ancient structure teach us? So what the Great Wall actually teaches us as engineers is this idea of longevity. We're in an area where there's huge temperature ranges every year. So this part of China can be minus 30 degrees C in the winter and plus 40 degrees C in the summer. That 70 degree temperature range applied to a wall, we can see what happens when you cycle through 600 years of history with those sort of materials. We can't test that in a laboratory, it's just impossible, because today we're designing buildings only to last 50 or 60 years. But sustainability tells us we're gonna to have to design structures to last longer. So to be able to learn about that, we've gotta look backwards. By looking back, the Great Wall is helping engineers build better structures for the future. These master builders knew they were doing work that would last well beyond their lifetime. When we see the names stamped in, in the bricks of the wall of the people who built it. They're saying, we're proud of this. We know this is gonna last a long time because we did a great job. And there's a piece of us inside this wall. And if you become an engineer, well, you can put your stamp on history and you can put your piece of yourself into something that will last way beyond your lifetime. And I think that's pretty special.